Hello everyone, today's video content is Analysis of the Real Questions of the QSDA 2024 Exam and Explanation of Relevant Knowledge Points. The following test questions are all from our question bank and they were updated on September 26, 2024. Study Guide Question 1. A company is transitioning from ClickView to ClickSense to ensure an optimized migration and improvement of reporting. Which factor should the data architect prioritize? The knowledge points of this question are Data architecture and performance optimization. When moving to ClickSense, focus on the data architecture model and load script to ensure smooth performance. Make sure it supports your business needs and avoids performance issues during the transition. So, the correct answer is When moving to ClickSense, you need to focus on the basics, how the data is set up, how it's modeled, and how efficiently it's loaded. Also, make sure the system fits your business needs and runs smoothly without performance issues. Question 2. A specific team reports incomplete data visualizations in a published app but other teams are not affected. The data architect cannot reproduce the issue during testing. What could be the root cause? The knowledge points of this question are Section access and field level security. If a team is missing data, it's likely due to field restrictions in section access. This limits access to certain data fields while others with full access see everything. So the correct answer is If some users aren't seeing the full data, it's probably because a field restriction in section access is blocking them. This kind of rule can limit what data certain teams are allowed to see. Question 3. A data architect is tasked with optimizing an app that retrieves data from large databases, causing performance issues during reload. All data is needed for analysis and minimizing the database load is essential. What is the best solution? The knowledge points of this question are Incremental loading with QVD files. To improve performance when dealing with large datasets, use incremental loading with QVD files. This lets you load only new or changed data, saving time and reducing the load on the database. It speeds up the process by keeping the old data locally and updating only what's necessary. So the correct answer is... Using incremental loading means you only load new or updated data, which saves time. QVD files store the data locally so that you don't have to reload everything from scratch each time. Question 4. A data architect needs to load customer data from a UQVD file and sort the data by the country field. Which approach should be taken to accomplish this? The knowledge points of this question are resident load and sorting. If you want to sort data from a QVD file, you need to do a resident load and then use an order by clause. You can't sort directly in the initial load, but using a resident load gives you the flexibility to organize the data after it's been loaded. So the correct answer is you can't sort data directly in a QVD load. Instead, use a resident load to reload the data and then sort it using an order by clause for the country field. Question 5. A data architect is building multiple apps that use similar calculation expressions. What is the best way to avoid duplicating code and ensure maintainability? The knowledge points of this question are Code reusability with include statement. To avoid repeating the same code in multiple apps, use the include statement to reference shared script files. This way, you write the expressions once, and they can be used across all your apps. It keeps things simple, makes updates easier, and ensures consistency. So, the correct answer is... The include statement lets you reuse code across different apps. You just write it once and use it wherever needed, saving time and avoiding mistakes from copying and pasting code. If you have any questions about the QSDA 2024 exam, 
please leave a message in the comment area or contact us directly. Thank you everyone for watching. See you next time.